Welcome back everybody as the second army of Gonsweng Zhang takes on the last ragtag forces of Li Yu in a desperate attempt to sally forth from their besieged settlement. Um, I've um, arrayed my army with our new spearmen in the front rank, archers, crossbowmen behind, artillery, albeit slightly depleted from our last battle, on the hill, uh, given a little bit of protection by this watchtower, cavalry to the flanks, and um, we've got these uh, sort of rock formations which may help to give our flanks a bit more security, and um, I've deployed the oil in front to see whether we can, can utilize that. At the moment, our enemy remains hidden over in these trees. The reinforcements will have come in from around here, so they'll slowly be trudging forwards, I would imagine, to take us head on to break our siege lines and uh, allow their units to be resupplied, replenished, and to rebuild their shattered armies. Um, our force here is tasked with stopping that. We've got good open ground in contrast to our last battle and a slight advantage in terms of our hilly position and uh, as I say our flanks may be a little bit guarded by this rocky terrain. So let's, uh, let's fast forward things until our enemy show their faces. Really what I want to be trying to do with this battle is um, keep our casualties to a minimum uh, so that we've got options. Basically once we've taken this town um, we may have taken care of one of the, uh, the three factions currently at war with us. Um, maybe if we um, if we can wipe out Li Yu's faction um, we will be in a better position to no negotiate peace with our southern neighbours and maybe switch all of our forces north. It does look as though our northern army is currently outnumbered, um, which is not a position I like to like to be in, uh, and uh, may fix our northern army on the defensive, which is perhaps a bit of a waste. Um, so our enemy has uh, has come into view now. Let's uh, let's take a look. Um, so we can already see that a number of their units are uh, sort of depleted from previous battles. So we've got spearmen, swordsmen, um, more halberds, uh, archers. So they seem to have concentrated their cavalry onto one flank, which uh, which suits me. Um, I've got um, Yang Gang here with his heavy heavy cavalry uh, supported by the lancers and then every, every all our other cavalry units the melee cavalry and our two other heroes are on this uh, this flank um, our artillery now now in range just finding finding its mark tearing through uh, the enemy archers, not that they, uh, not that they wear much armor anyway, but uh, no armor was going to stop those bolts. And um, do have the oil and the uh, the ability for our archers to use flaming arrows. Um, the question will be if we'll get an opportunity to use that and the timing of that oil. In the meantime, the enemy surge towards us, trying to reduce the uh, the number of volleys from our artillery. Okay, so let's, uh, let's ignite this oil. May not uh, get that cavalry unit, but may help to hem them in. Let's switch back to uh, normal shot. So really the cavalry has got a bit close to our uh, ranged units and we'll be taking some hits. We do have the protection on this flank of the stakes, uh, so they've got to come on 
if they're going to uh, seriously threaten us and we have cavalry waiting for them. Uh, we're trading missiles currently with the enemy's forces. I'm tempted to switch my cavalry over to my right flank in order to um, ensure that we deal with this threat. In the meantime, our cavalry need to move onto the offensive to try and get some get some momentum behind them. Oh, our enemy is about to make a large, large mistake. Oh, he loses loads of these precious horses to the to the spikes. Um, careless, careless move by the AI there. Um, he will be causing some damage to our sword infantry, so he did manage to find a little gap in our lines, but. Uh, Ultimately, he's paid a heavy price. The time has come. Let's bring in our hero's cavalry to relieve some of the burden on our infantry. Really want to be hitting their archers if we can. Our archers seem to be focused on their infantry. Um, slight risk of uh, friendly fire, which I'd, I don't like. Uh, we seem to be winning this cavalry battle decisively now. And that will free up our cavalry eventually to uh, to deal the killing blows. Yeah, we are uh, whittling down their, their archers now as this unit I don't believe it's shattered yet, but... Our success looms large. It does, a uh, little bit concerned that we've still got cavalry in melee with uh, with spearmen, but as the spearmen have pressed on uh, both sides, I think the risk is acceptable right now. Now then, we risk charging into the remainder of our own uh, of our own spears, but I think it's worth the risk that we go to keep this, keep these cavalry units pinned in, stop giving, stop them from having that freedom of movement. Run, run, march out. Ready to ride. Our line's looking very thin in some places, but ultimately it has held. I uh, don't really want these archers in melee unless they've run out of uh, ammunition, which they haven't yet. Look, the enemy run! Craven! Let's uh, stop our artillery from moving and stop it from firing now this, uh, with our cavalry. Uh, really running riot uh, there's the, the greater risk is probably that we hit our own cavalry uh, let's bring the infantry back into the melee deal with their cavalry decisively and again I think let's stop our stop our archers now the enemy warriors are running ha! Still embroiled in this melee on our left flank. Our centre has uh, withstood the impact. Very much in uh, mopping up operations now, I think. Let's bring this cavalry. Let's bring them back. In order to ride down these... Uh, these remaining infantry units. Stand ready. Go, go, go. They have a champion. Closely bunched cavalry formation trying to keep their uh, their leader alive. Um, their heavy armor 
serving them well, but it's not going to be it's not going to be enough. And indeed, they begin to break. Finally, this uh, left flank breaks. They've never managed to uh, to get to our artillery. Their artillery did suffer uh, casualties from uh, from their archers. And I uh, do just want to make sure we ride down some of these fleeing infantry and stop those those archers. Cavalry will get away. Okay, let's claim victory. A decisive victory. Uh, that one was always safely in our favour. Uh, very much an enemy attacking uh, as their their options were going to start to dwindle rapidly. Better to hit us before attrition had set in, albeit it placed them at a great disadvantage. So we lost close to a, close to a thousand men. Um, With me. And uh, the siege, the siege continues. Uh, so peace treaties, uh, brothers in arms, through presumably fighting together, um, and we've had some buildings upgraded. Uh, plenty of capacity still in this city, so I won't um, won't upgrade the city. What I will do is uh, go for more commerce. Uh, or, or at least more more money. Um, so this is the labour camp, which um, I thought was going to improve our industrial. Ah, right. So we've got to go on a few tiers to actually start to get to start to get the bonuses I was after uh, when we've. Um, Unlock the title and gained an ancillary six plus six satisfaction, more supplies. That's not uh, that's not too bad at all. So let's uh, In the name of China. increase the uh, capability of these guys. Uh, fire arrows. Oh no, actually, this is one of the few occasions where t I'm not really going to go for the fire arrows because Ty can. He, he doesn't have any. Um, doesn't have any archers. Uh, let's go with this one. Uh, meditation gives him unbreakable. And um, what are our options for Yan? Um, passion. Um, oh, plus 15 melee damage with shock cavalry. That could be very handy. Um, more chance of ambushing, allows for guerrilla deployment, um, and we've got um, helps with fatigue, uh, helps with military supplies, let's go with passion. And then our other general, we've already got, I think, the... we've already got the fire arrows, um, Ignores forest penalties. Uh, no. Strategist. That's perception. Judgment. 15% uh, range damage plus range damage. Let's go for that because he has got our, uh, our ranged units under his command. Uh, and uh, one of our other nobles has uh, leveled up. We'll go for a reach. And uh, again, another reform. The reforms seem to be coming thick and fast. Um, shouldn't complain about that, I suppose. More income. I'm, I'm not so worried about income. Um, yet more satisfaction for the vanguard. Uh, enables caltrops. So these uh, doesn't give us a uh, pop up for them. They can be quite handy. And uh, oh, unlocks cataphracts. Let's. Uh, yeah, we've got to have a look at that, haven't we? Uh, now then, our enemy is uh, remains under siege. The army is substantially depleted. Uh, the garrison as well. 
Uh, so we should be able now to. Uh... I am very tempted to delegate this one. Um... Mm, no, no, no. <laughs> I can't bring myself to do it. Uh, just the uh, the chance of disproportionate casualties to our own men uh, that I'm going to need to either to uh, to run north uh, or to subdue our other southern enemy. Um, yeah, I'm not willing to uh, willing to roll the dice on those. I can't imagine this battle will take a very long time. So we're not going to use any deployables. Uh, we'll get all of our spearmen in a row. We'll have the artillery, which may provoke them to, to sally forth, so forth as we've uh, seen uh, previously. Plenty of cavalry in this army. That is uh, that is one of the things, obviously, with the, with the records mode. You know, you do get loads of cavalry because all of your your leaders uh, are leading them. Um, and yeah, yeah, they uh, they don't want to hang around. Let's face our fates quickly. Somebody knocked from his horse then by a by a bolt. More bolts come flying in. Oh, and the damage is devastating. All the while, the enemy grow closer towards our missile. Other missile units, our archers and our crossbowmen. Let's bring up our line of spears just to um, just to make sure we've got that protection close at hand. And our crossbowmen prepare themselves. Load their crossbows. Load the bolts in there. The enemy charge, which is disruptive. What we'll do is we'll actually advance the spearmen at the same time as trying to get some organisation in our uh, archers. Uh, something which I am... Uh, it's been a little bit uh, a little bit messy in the last few battles. It's something I obviously need to, to work on. Let's get our cavalry. So he's shattered. Ultimately, these units just don't have the the staying power. There's so uh, so few of them. And uh, yeah, well, they, at least they, they they sped up the conclusion of that battle for me. Preserved their honour, charging out bravely through the gates. Uh, just a little over two minutes that one. So. Um, yeah, it was worth it, I think, just to avoid the um, rolling the dice of the uh, the auto result. Uh, we lost seven to seven. I can, I can I can live with that. And we've captured Han Lian. Uh, is a rival to somebody. And uh, hmm. so eight hundred income to release this person. We could execute and get this noble noble leather. Slows the person down. Um, hmm. Is a friend of Li Yu. Intrepid, fraternal, cheerful. Uh, only rank number one, but uh, could be useful. Or there is uh, intimidating, graceful, healthy. Um, 20 and 37. We cannot employ this character or 
this one. So they refuse to join our faction. So it's purely a case of letting them letting them go or executing them. And um, they are they're both ladies, which um, chivalry would suggest would mean that we should release them. Um, but I really don't need the money and um, you know equal opportunities uh, if they're uh, if they're willing to be generals willing to um, willing to be in the army then they should be treated equally and so uh, yeah we're gonna be pretty harsh Consider this Occupy. Zeal spares victory. the town and uh, okay so we completed that mission because we uh, we wiped out the faction of Li Yu completely I would say uh, given that we uh, didn't allow those ladies to uh, to escape um, we have to destroy Yan Shao oh um, don't know if we're ready for that particularly as he's in he's in the coalition isn't he um, so let's have a look at what that, this means so we gained that noble leather um, less expertise more authority less speed less melee attack more charge bonus and um, another ancillary and um, we gained another another title that's good uh, rivals yeah okay well we um, yeah great uh, right okay yeah Now then, I'm just wondering whether uh, Zhang Yang is there any any prospect of having some kind of truce here? Um, what if I say make this work? So he would want ten thousand of our of our gold. We've got twenty thousand. And whilst, yeah, do you know, I think I'm going to, I'm going to pay for that because otherwise we're going to get locked into uh, this sort of two front war, whereas I can hopefully move this second army north, reach kind of parity with uh, Gong Sung Du at least, and then move on the offensive. So look, let's, um... come on. And um, he's been fairly passive, so um, Caution. Is the no, then. Uh, so I can't sort of demolish that, we'll repair that, and um, we do, it's likely that we'll have some public order issues, um, we'll upgrade that, uh, let's move immediately. Okay. How far can we march north this turn? You're joking. All that way? Oh, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So, let's go. Or is that next turn? Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. So, we're next turn, we can get that far. Um, so, oh, I've, I should have just left him. In. Yeah, let's leave him there then for this, uh, for this turn. Might help with the public order once we sort all of that side of things out. Um, we do have a public order. It is improving, I believe. Okay, so that's not too bad. Uh, and, um, obviously, we've got substantially less money now, but um, I think it was worth it just on the just to give us one one front to worry about. So, gone to exam. Let's move him back to normal stance. We will camp in the uh, in the port, and um, let's just have a look to see whether we can likewise upgrade our archers. So yeah, we've got these mounted archers, repeating crossbowmen, uh, hundred ranged power. Um, Oh, we've got these medium bow infantry. Let's go with the medium bow infantry for uh, these units. Uh, 
and uh, let's uh, let's try these uh, these repeating crossbow troops. What are these? These are axe band units. Anybody better? Ooh, some of these are starting to look pretty good. Um, medium glaive infantry. Ooh. Um, Oh, I like these guys as well. And uh, these guys also. Hmm. Exciting. Uh, okay, let's let's get some of these guys. I think these massive swords. What about how do these spearmen look then in comparison? So they've got 100 melee toughness. I've been quite happy with them. Mm. Yeah, I think we'd leave these these as they are. Um, we've got obviously these horse archers. This is a very heavy um, heavy missile force. Uh, Do I want to upgrade any of these? Cataphracts. Ooh. Mm. Slightly less morale. A lot more melee toughness. Let's, uh, let's upgrade to some cataphracts. And uh, what choices do we have here? Mm. No, we'll leave. We'll leave those those troops. Um, or shall we go for six spear? One of these G militia. Uh, G infantry. Okay, well, we won't fiddle anymore. Uh, what about the... Yeah, so we could go for a trebuchet, but actually I'm very happy with our, our boat throwing. It's quite uh, quite good against uh, blocks of infantry. So let's, um, let's end the turn there. And uh, I really do want to be... Uh, so he'll give us peace, and he will also pay for that peace. Well, um, yeah, yeah. I, I don't see, I don't see the the harm. It is settled. Gonsung Du. Oh, he's moving south. And, um. Oh, okay. Okay. So we're likely to lose this one. He's got, uh. Yeah, seven, eight thousand troops. Uh, two full. Close to full. Uh, not entirely full, but close to full stacks. We have an army that we were just, uh, just replenishing. Or maybe I have made a. Uh, uh, yeah, made an error. We've got 6,800. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'll stop the video here, and then we will uh, we will see how we get on in the next video. Bye.